हरे कृष्णा ओम ज्ञानतम से ज्ञानजन सलकार चुक्षुरमृ तम ये ना तस्म श्री गुरु नम श्री चेतन्य मनुभीष्टम सती पिता ये ना भूतले सेवम रूप कदा मयाम ददती सेवा पददंति कम वंचकुव कृपा सिंधु बेबचा पति तना पाने व्यो वैष्णवेप्यो नमो नम श्री कृष्ण चेतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाता शिव शादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे रे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे रे चैप्टर एट अटेनिंग द सुप्रीम टेक्स्ट वन अर्जुना इंक्वायर्ड ओ माय लॉर्ड और सुप्रीम पर्सन व्हाट इज ब्रह्मांड व्हाट इज द सेल्फ व्हाट आर फ्यूटिव एक्टिविटीज व्हाट इज दिस मटेरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड व्हाट आर द डेमी गॉड्स प्लीज एक्सप्लेन दिस टू मी टेक्स्ट टू Who is the Lord of Sacrifice, and how does He live in the body, O Madhusudana? And how can those engaged in devotional service know You at the time of death? Text three: The supreme personality of God had said, "The indestructible, transcendental, living entity is called Brahman, and His eternal nature is called Adhyatma, the Self. Action pertaining to the development of the material bodies of the living entities is called karma or fruitive activities." Text four. O best of embodied beings the physical nature which is constantly changing is called adibhuta the material manifestation the universal form of the lord which includes all the demigods like those of the sun and the moon is called adi deva and i the supreme lord represented as the super soul in the heart of every embodied being i am called adi gyana the lord of sacrifice text 5 and whoever at the end of his life quits his body remembering me alone at once attains my nature of this there is no doubt text 6 whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body o son of kunti that state he will attain without fail text 7 therefore arjuna you should always think of me in the form of krishna and at the same time carry out your prescribed duty of fighting With your activities dedicated to me and your mind and intelligence fixed on me, you will attain me without doubt. Text eight. He who meditates on me as the supreme personality of Godhead, his mind constantly engaged in remembering me, undeviated undevi- from the path. He, O Partha, is sure to reach me. Text nine. One should m- meditate upon the supreme person as the one who knows everything. as he who is the oldest who is the controller who is smaller than the smallest who is the maintainer of everything who is beyond all material conception who is inconceivable and who is always a person he is luminous like the sun and he is transcendental beyond this material nature text 10 one who at the time of that fixes his life fair between the eyebrows and by the strength of yoga with an undeviating mind engages himself in remembering the supreme lord in full development devotion will certainly attain to the supreme personality of godhead text 11 persons who are learned in the vedas who utter omkara and who are great sages in the renounced order enter into brahman desiring such perfection one practices celibacy i shall now briefly explain to you this process by which one may attain salvation text 12 The yogic situation is that of detachment from all sensual engagements, closing all the doors of the senses and fixing the mind on the heart and the life air at the top of the head. One establishes himself in yoga. Text 13. After being situated in this yoga practice and vibrating the sacred syllable Om, the supreme combination of letters, if one thinks of the supreme personality of Godhead and quits his body, he will attain He will certainly reach the spiritual planets. Text fourteen. For one, for one who always remember me without deviation, I am easy to obtain, O son of Pritha, because of this, because of his constant engagement in devotional service. Text fifteen. After attaining me, the great souls who are yogis in devo- de- devotion. never return to this temporary world which is full of miseries because they have attained the highest perfection text 16 for the 
From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. But one who attains to me, to my abode, O son of Kunti, never takes birth again. Text 17. By human calculation, a thousand ages taken together form the duration of Brahma's one day, and such also is the duration of his night. Text 18. As the beginning of Brahma's day, all living entities become manifest from the unmanifest state, and thereafter, when the night falls, they emerge into the unmanifest again. Text 19. Again and again, when Brahma's day arrives, all living entities come into being, and with the arrival of Brahma's night, they are haplessly annihilated. Text 20. Yet there is another unmanifest nature, which is eternal and is transcendental to this unmanifested and unmanifested matter. It is supreme and is never annihilated. When all in this world is annihilated, that part remains as it is. Text 21. That which the Vedantas describe as unmanifest and infallible, that which is known as the supreme destination, that place from which, having attained it, one never returns, that is my supreme abode. Text 22. The supreme personality of Godhead, who is greater than all, is attainable by unalloyed devotion, although he is present in his abode. Uh, in his abode. He is all-pervading and everything is situated within him. Text 23. O best of the Bharatas, I shall now explain to you the different times at which, passing away from this world, the yogi does or does not come back. Text 24. Those who knew the... Who, those who know the Supreme Brahman attain that Supreme, <clears throat> excuse me, by passing away from the world during the influence of fairy God in the light at an auspicious moment of the day, during the fortnight of the waxing moon or during the six months when the sun travels in the north. Text 25. The mystic who passes away from this world during the smoke, the night, the fortnight of the waning moon, or the six months when the sun passes to the south, which is the moon planet, but again comes back. Text 26. According to Vedic opinion, there are two ways of passing from this world, one in light, one in darkness. When one passes in light, he does not come back, but when one passes in darkness, he returns. Text 27. All the devotees know these two paths, or Arjuna. They are never bewildered. Therefore, be always fixed in devotion. Text 28. A person who accepts the path of devotional service is not bereft of the results derived from studying the Vedas, performing sacrifices, undergoing austerities, giving charity, or pursuing philosophical and fruitive activities. Simply by, simply by performing devotional service, he attains all this, and at the end he reaches the supreme eternal abode. That's the end of chapter 8, Attaining the Supreme. Bhagavad Gita ki Jai, Bhaktivind ki Jai, Shila Prabhupada ki Jai, Hare Krishna.